here and here to here are overnight. Uh, so your accommodations are all on the cruise ship? Yes. They, they put them in a four berth room typically. Okay. Uh, if you've ever been on a cruise, the, the beds actually, there's an extra bed that folds down, mm -hmm. a bunk bed, and you can sleep four in there. And they're actually quite comfortable. Like, my daughter loved it. On the, We had overnight ferries from, we went Greece to Italy, and then we went from Civita Vecchia to Barcelona, or Barcelona, if you will. Um, <laughs> Uh, and they loved it. They they had a blast on the ferries, and they, they, the rooms were comfortable. The showers, as long as you stand like this, you know you're okay, <laughs> because there just isn't much more room than that. But uh, so that's that's the the outline of the cruise, and I think it was like only a four hundred dollar add-on or four hundred and fifty dollar add-on for three days, and that's all meals, not that includes lunches, because there are times when we're going to be cruising at lunchtime. So. Um, I, I think it's an amazing deal for what they're getting. I mean, these guys just negotiate these prices down. So here is here is where we're going on the cruise. Mykonos, or Mykonos, depending. And there is nothing in the Mediterranean that will bite you, hurt you, or try to eat you. It's a wonderful place. That's why the shark is there to tell you that there aren't sharks. It's not like when you're out here at uh, Catalina and you actually have to worry about stuff like this. This is Ephesus. And this is the beach at Kusadasi. And these are all just <laughs> slides stolen. And, and it's, you know, little tiny, I mean, this is what most of the streets are like. And back to Ephesus. This is the amphitheater in Ephesus. You can see it's just inland now from Kusadasi. So it is very much Turkey. Back to Greece, this is Patmos. So very populated, but you turn your back and you're on the other side. So we'll be, it'll be a cruise ship like this that we'll be on. And we always go to like Patmos town, or Hydra town, or Mykonos town, or something, the, the main city. Uh, this is Crete. Uh, you've got crusader fortresses, um, everything. Knossos, the Minoan civilization. So those of you that have done, you know, some art history, will a lot of this should be kicking in, right? The palace of Knossos, the the bull jumpers, and then the uh, dolphin mural here, and then the last stop on the the cruise. So Knossos is down here. It's about ten kilometers from. Center. Santorini. Uh, big volcano explosion and left everything as black sand, you know, lava sand, like you get in, in Hawaii. But it's very much of a Greek town built right up the side of a hill always, with the windmills and all that. And you can see this is the island, this is the caldera here. And so that's just a, I mean, these are, these are works in progress. I could have put in stuff from the Uffizi and, and all that. But that gives you some idea. The one, the one additional cost on the cruise, if you want to go into Ephesus or to Knossos, there is an additional charge because that's the cruise company, not EF. They'll arrange for a bus and a guide and admission into the site. And I think it's like $50 or something like that. Um, but, you know, they pick you up right at the cruise ship and take you off. Is the um, 4287 price including the extra cruise days? Yeah, that includes the extra cruise. I want to say there might be a, a few other little add-ons on the cruise, like if you want to go to Ephesus. And then I, I would really recommend Ephesus. That's one of those... That might be one of those once in a lifetime things. Mm -hmm. So that um, we, you would decide then. Whether yeah, you can. Do. Yeah, when we when we actually get on board the cruise ship, you say I, I want to do the Ephesus bit, and then you would just pay for it at that point. I think I'm still working with the tours. I haven't done the, their cruise, um, but I, I've talked to people who 
have, and it's, been, it's, it's really well done. It's a nice ship, um, well handled, and, and very efficient. So the tour number is here, and my email, you can get me through the school site. Or obviously, you communicate through your children. Yep. So, that's the outline. In addition to the lunch meetings, the other things I do is I provide everybody with one of these, which means we never lose our passports because they go on here, and then nobody can get to them unless you're really not paying attention. <laughs> And um, we'll, we'll have subsequent meetings once we have people registered as, as we get into February or March. But, I mean, this is where you keep your money. This is where you keep the, the credit card or whatever. And the cell phone. And the cell phone. In fact, I have my... Somewhere down here. I have my Euro phone. It doesn't text or anything, but it gets really good calls in Europe. And I'll also have my Blackberry there, too. So. Do you need a special phone for Euro? Um, well, there are world phones, like the Blackberry is a world phone. You can just have the chip turned on. The Blackberries, the iPhones are world phones, but a lot of the basic phones are not. Um, so I will make sure they each have one of those. I will purchase it. We always put a t-shirt together, too. This was from the last tour. Uh, obviously, it was the Greek emphasis, even though we were in Italy, too. And then the names of all the places that we go are on the back. And I meant to bring, also make it so that if they want to have sweatshirts or whatever done, I will, I will give them the t-shirt if they also want to have a sweatshirt done. It's like $25 for the nice hoodie. Um, and it's great advertising around school, too. I mean, the kids, the other kids see they I want to go, and, and pretty soon, you know, they've got more friends going along. And uh, the, the hotels, they're usually, I, I mention that because on the hotels, they're usually in groups of three, um, sometimes four. They're, they're, we've been in some hotels that have, like, they've been suites almost, and they'll, they'll put four in there, but most of the hotels are twos and threes. And so they're always rooming with friends. It, we've never, in all the tours, ever had somebody room with somebody not on our own tour. Um, I, I want them to be, you know, 100% comfortable. So that's the, the basic breakdown. I figured we'd take about an hour, so we're, we're at that point. You might see them bring home um, tour books because, I mean, these are available to them. You know, in class they could just grab them and... Yep, thanks for coming. And so we've got all those, you know, the idea being I want them to be familiar with where they are long before they get there. I have a question oh, about if they're out at night on their own, um, what are they doing at night on their own? If they're they're really the out on their own at night. They're, they're, well, they're traveling at, at night. Usually we stay in a group. Um, in Florence, we've gone to a disc attack. In which one? Um, Rome, the hotel was outside of Rome, so they kept us in Rome until about 10. We did the Spanish steps and then, then went to the hotel outside of Rome. Um, in England, we've done stuff like we, we went to see Spam a lot one year. So it's all, mm -hmm. you're all as yeah. a group, because you said they are allowed to go off in twos, usually threes. During, during the day. During the day. Okay. During the day. Yeah, and I think generally want to stay together. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the trip, they're, they're pretty well bonded. They, they want to be together. It's really right. remarkable to see the way it uh, unfolds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, already there. I know. <laughs> so, and, and a lot of these guys, you know, they've been together since second grade, too. And any worry about getting into trouble? Say what? Any concern about the areas you're going to with any terrorism or any 
No, not at all. I mean, the, the Greeks have this weird habit of blowing up bombs at like two in the morning.